Hello, Mathieu from Syme here. I hope you're doing well and you keep creating. Today I want to introduce you to a whole new way of navigating through your images within Picto. And this is feature is called Panorama and it allows you to create completely new points of view on your images. So if you're ready, let's discover the Panorama viewing experience together right now. Traditionally, we explore our photos in most photographic apps using dates or by applying filters on metadata or some sort of event. In Picto, we use artificial intelligence to assign keywords and scores to all your images based on content, based on color analysis, based on style. Using that automatic keywording, Picto lets you create inside the panorama viewing experience a whole new exploration and view on all your images. Let's see how this amazing feature works. And we'll start with the first point of view, which are the photographic styles. Uh, Picto can automatically recognize the style of your image, whether it's an architecture, a wildlife, a portrait, a uh, street food uh, image, and assign that style. Have you been to a trip somewhere? Picto can automatically recognize the style of your image and create groups for all your architecture, your wildlife, your food, your street, uh, your night photography. So it's easy for you to review. Let's see this in action right now. Here I'm looking at um, photos from a trip I made in Venice and uh, I'm looking at two sources, one in Capture One and one in Lumina Neo. And the first, um, the first view in Panorama is the, is the categories and the styles. I'm going to look at them. Uh, categories contain about uh, 15 um, image categories that we detect, such as architecture, uh, wildlife, water, underwater, etc. Um, street photography, for example, here. And as you can see, Panorama has extracted from the uh, content that is currently selected, uh, the images that best fit those uh, categories. Um, there is also a Styles tab where we try to detect things such as abstract uh, um, uh, images, I, images taken from above, um, uh, close-ups, and night photography. Let's have a look at another point of view, color harmonies. Color harmony refers to the property that Certain combinations of color are more, more aesthetically pleasing than others. And there are some standard schemes uh, based on how the colors are placed on the color wheel. Picto can extract the color palette of an image, detect the dominant colors, and then see whether the palette matches a, a known style. Let, let's see it in detail. When looking at color harmonies, Picto will extract the um, palette for each image and will display the palette underneath the images. And then we'll try to match uh, the palette with one of the known schemes, such as analogous uh, harmony, complementary harmony, etc. Each of these harmonies have uh, a little explanation. Uh, you can click on the, on the uh, tooltip that tells you what uh, this harmony scheme, a specific harmony scheme means. Um, and as you can see, um, it has extracted the, uh, the various uh, uh, schemes from my current selection and lets me uh, view my, my images by, by this uh, uh, point of view around colors and color palettes. Let's turn to faces. This is another point of view available in Panorama. Picto can detect the faces inside your images, even the most challenging ones, and count them. Uh, then it can organize the view of your images according to the number of people in them. Uh, images with single people, with couples, small groups, larger groups. It can even sort your image based on the real number of people. So let's see how cool this feature is. When looking at people, Picto will identify images that contain a certain number of, of persons. Um, 
like in this line, it's detecting all the um, all the images with one single person or one single person that has been uh, detected. Uh, like in this example, these uh, three girls are not detected. It's probably the one that is behind, that is identified as the the only person in the shot. Um, detects small groups. It can detect bigger groups. In that case, uh, a big group of statues that are identified as, as persons, and um, it can detect uh, images that are uh, that have two two people. Uh, so that's a great way to actually find um, shots where you know that you you have a couple or that you have uh, a certain number of people, uh, and it's a, it's yet another way to uh, to explore your photo library. Keywords. They are a great way to organize a photo collection, but it takes time to add them manually. Picto has some content detection built in. It contains a few hundred terms and will keep adding more and more to make it more relevant. Picto can detect standard places, standard objects, animals, and you can use those terms in search. It does not interfere with the existing keywords that you might have in place, nor does it modify your images. Let's take it for a spin. Well, building the uh, panorama experience by analyzing the, uh, the images, Picto will um, automatically tag certain images with keywords uh, that are uh, standard keywords from um, a variety of uh, known objects. And um, this lets me um, perform new types of filterings. So, for example, I can type uh, canal here, and it will automatically detect the uh, images that are tagged by this uh, by this canal urban, uh, which is not the tag that I've uh, added myself, it's just been detected. Um, let's try another one. Back, back. Um, so here it's detecting a number of standard objects. You can also easily find images with people. Um, of course, this works uh, in a grid view, but it's also great in panorama. So if I'm filtering based on person, I will uh, extract images that are of those types and that contain identified uh, uh, people in, uh, in them. So using keywords, uh, that are automatically uh, created by um, by Picto is a great way to uh, create an yet another point of view on all your images. Defects. Sometimes we might want to see our images based on some defects that they might have. Maybe in order to flag them as uh, possible candidates for deletion or possible candidates for further edits. Picto has some inbuilt detection algorithm that will look at the image and analyze their content. Um, in order to extract some characteristics, for example, based on color, um, oversaturated or undersaturated, based on contrast or based on real defects like noise, uh, the presence of blur, uh, haze, etc. Let's see how it works by looking at some examples. So, for example, we will identify the bright, the dark images the colorless, the colorful images, the images with high or low contrast, and the images with low or high saturation. So it's a very uh, easy and, and nice way to actually brought through your images based on uh, their colors or lack of colors, uh, the contrast and the type of lights. One of the really cool features of Panorama is how it works with search and filters. The panorama viewing experience is not limited at the whole catalog level. It works at the level that you set. So for example, if you have a, a filter on date to look at only those images taken last year, and that you further, ref further refine that filter by adding a filter on a specific lens, then panorama will adjust its view um, to the scope that you just set, and all the scoring will apply in that scope. The same applies, for example, if you're looking at panorama inside a specific album. So let's see that using an example.
Panorama works hand in hand with uh, standard picto filters uh, to reduce the scope of the images I'm looking at and, and adjust the view uh, experience. So here, for example, I'm looking at a particular combination of uh, catalogs. Um, if I use the filtering field to only keep those images that were taken with that lens, um, I will then um, be able to view panorama just for that reduced scope. If I remove that filter and instead use a filtering on dates, uh, again, Panorama will adjust itself based on the current selection that I'm that I'm making using filters. Panorama can become the starting point for your exploration and through the use of filters create unlimited points of view all different on all your images. We think Panorama is a game-changing feature in Picto because it can reveal hidden images, forgotten images, while also making a collection look organized without putting any extra work. We are sure you, you will like it and we see great potential in it and we have already tons of ideas on how to improve it uh, through the use of um, uh, more intelligence as well as new use cases. With Picto it's really a great time to enjoy your photos. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next video.